An altitude of a triangle is a line which passes through a vertex and which is perpendicular to the opposite side. So in triangle ABC, the altitude from A is the line which passes through A and which meets BC at a right angle, so that it's perpendicular to the opposite side. So section 1.2 is altitudes. And again, we will start by writing a very simple definition of what an altitude is. We will say an altitude is perpendicular to the opposite side. And that's just what we've discussed. So an altitude is always perpendicular to the opposite side. Straight into example 1.2a then. Example 1.2a will say triangle PQR has vertices P, which is 3, 8, Q, which will be negative 1, negative 10, and R, which is 5, negative 6. Question is, find the equation of the altitude. from R. So let's find the equation of the altitude from R. Right, let's go straight into the solution. Right, what's the question asking for? Find the equation of a straight line. If it's find the equation of a straight line, we want to have point gradient and equation. So anytime you're asked for the equation of a straight line, this is our starting point. Point, gradient and equation. Okay, what is it we know about the altitude? The statement is, an altitude is perpendicular to the opposite side. If it's the altitude from R, you should be able to tell me what the opposite side from R is going to be in triangle PQR. The opposite side from R is PQ. So the statement tells me it's perpendicular to the opposite side. It's perpendicular to PQ. That means find the gradient of PQ and then find the perpendicular gradient. So this time we're starting with gradient. P is the point 3, 8. Q is the point negative 1 negative 10. We'll find the gradient of PQ. So on the top I've got negative 10 take away 8. On the bottom I'll have negative 1 take away 3. That gives me negative 18 divided by negative 4. These two negatives will cancel so my answer is going to be positive at the end and they're going to simplify to give me 9 over 2. So that's the gradient of the line which joins P and Q. Remember the altitude is perpendicular to the opposite side. So it's not 9 over 2 I want as my answer. I want the perpendicular gradient. So therefore, the perpendicular gradient will be the negative reciprocal of this. So negative 2 ninths is a gradient that I want to be using. Okay, so that gets me mark 1 and mark 2. Mark 1 for finding the correct gradient between P and Q. Mark 2 for establishing that I have to find the negative reciprocal of that gradient. What about my point? Well, let's just simplify things. Find the equation of the altitude from R. If it's from R, it goes through point R. So we'll use 5, negative 6. R is 5, negative 6 is our point. 
and then we can go straight into y minus b equals m brackets x take away a. So that will become y subtract negative 6, that's y add 6, equals my gradient is negative 2 ninths, brackets x subtract a is 5. We don't want to be dealing with a fraction, so we'll multiply the denominator to the other side, and we will get 9 times y add 6, and that leaves me with my negative 2 multiplying the x minus 5. Multiplying my brackets out, I will get 9y add 54 equals negative 2x add 10. So my final answer will be 9y add 2x equals 10 subtract 54 equals negative 44. So the equation of the altitude from r is 9y add 2x equals negative 44.